The Sequence Similarity tab uses another clustering scheme. You can select templates here as well, but I am already happy with mine. Lastly, the Alignment tab is usually very important. However, in our case, we have high similarity and not many indels. If you click on the gear icon, you can select different secondary structure predictors. The effect is also shown in the structure view. We can also color the chains using the clustal scheme. Now it is relatively easy to find the differences in the alignments we talked about earlier. If we move our mouse over the sequence, the amino acids are highlighted on the structure and vice versa. Let's go quickly back to the templates view and have a look at the extra templates we selected. Both from the suggested cluster have good resolution and have copper and zinc as ligands. The template from the other cluster is missing copper though. One important thing to remember is that you can click the template names in this view to go to the Swiss model template library entry. For instance, the top entry here is missing the copper. If we go to the SMTL entry, we quickly notice that this entry and the second one are from the same paper, which also confirms that we want the structure with copper and zinc. Once you are happy with the selection of the templates, all we have to do is click the Build Models button.